the most common problems as far as liver is concerned in our country are related to uh, alcohol ingestion uh, so alcoholic liver disease is one of the most common things that we see in our practice uh, in addition there are some infections like chronic hepatitis b or c and they are a cause of uh, liver issues uh, leading to more serious problems like liver cirrhosis and uh, liver cancers generally symptoms of liver disease include uh, um, presence of jaundice or loss of appetite and then when uh, the disease gets more complicated then you might have patients who are coming with uh, swelling over the feet or fluid filling up in the abdomen and its complications like um, uh, altered sensorium and uh, uh, sometimes even uh, bleeding from the git treatment uh, essentially depends on um, the stage of disease that we are seeing uh, of course if you have alcoholic liver disease then alcohol needs to stop uh, if you have patients who have chronic hepatitis infections then they need to be treated with viral uh, antiviral uh, medications and um, uh, if it is an early stage most of the times liver diseases do uh, settle down and uh, get treated completely but if they are advanced then most of the times uh, though we stop their Now, alcohol or do we stop or do we treat the infections many times if patients have more serious liver disease then uh, liver transplant is something that is now a days available and that can be offered to such patients uh, hepatobiliary pancreatic diseases essentially refer to diseases of the liver that is hepato biliary and pancreatic refer to diseases of uh, the biliary tract the biliary tract is the tract which uh, transfers bile from the liver down into the intestine for digestion so if there are any diseases related to the duct of the bile or to the gall bladder those are known as biliary diseases and pancreas is an organ which is present um, in the posterior or the back region of the abdomen and we do get patients who suffer from diseases of the pancreas okay piles are essentially um, Uh, dilated or congested uh, vessels which are present uh, at the anal canal or just above the anal canal and uh, most of these patients come with either bleeding uh, through the rectum or they come with pain uh, during passage of motions uh, the treatment of piles um, depends on what grade it is or how large they are so if you have small piles then they can be treated medically if you have larger piles then Uh, many of them need uh, treatments like injection or band uh, ligation or sometimes if they are very large or they are prolapsing outside or complicated then uh, they need surgery gastroscopy is a procedure where we pass in a small uh, tube with a camera which is called as an endoscope uh, through the mouth and it goes and we visualize the uh, food pipe the stomach and the first part of the intestine it is a test which is uh, one of the most accurate tests to uh, diagnose any uh, problems related to the upper gastrointestinal tract uh, people who need a gastroscopy are usually those with um, uh, prolonged upper gi symptoms for example acidity heartburn uh, gases or indigestion um there are some people who need more urgent gastroscopies for example someone who has had a bleeding uh, from um, the upper tract uh, coming as uh, vomiting of blood or uh, those who have unexplained weight loss or uh, loss of appetite things getting stuck in the food tract these are the patients who generally need a gastroscopy constipation is a very big down problem in our practice uh most of the times uh, people who are young people who have constipation is related to more of lifestyle problems so low fiber intake and high intake of um, uh, high calorie foods or processed foods uh, junk food those are the most uh, common reasons why constipation happens in younger individuals in older individuals constipation may be a functional problem where the uh, muscles of the colon get weaker and weaker as the age progresses um treatment is a lot of times related to fiber intake and drinking a lot of water uh, having more green vegetables fruits and changing lifestyles loose motions are generally uh, if they are in an acute phase as if it's a short history of loose motions most of the times is because of an infection uh, if someone has loose motions for many years or many months together then it may be related to a disease which we call an irritable bowel syndrome or uh, an excessive irritability of the intestine which causes recurrent loose motions most of the times we can treat uh, things like constipation or loose motions with medicines and most people tend to do well with the treatment